Friday Night Baseball on the show, and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. A big-time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Chris Costa is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Detroit. What's your take on him, Dan? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one, and if they can score him... If at the plate, Theo Jamison. First hurt. cuts for him here with the, the right bases fielder. open and two Theo. away. Jamison. First offering on its way. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. And guys should take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now and, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been come on, on the you can beat it. You can beat offensive. It. Well the play's been made and that retires the side. Down in order go the Tigers. It remains one nothing. Well, there is some weather in the Detroit area as we begin the second. And for more on that, here's Heidi. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay. But the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Into the box now, Maurice off Harris. And he'll start out the their left half left. of the third, top Rory. of the order to follow. All right. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Jamison. One down. Next up for Detroit, Theo Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as run his out, last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Now batting, David Fletcher. One for Leading one after a single his first time up. David Fletcher. Lifted in the air out to right. Jamison sprinting after it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So coming to the plate, Theo the right Jamison. Field, He's 0 for 2 thus far in this Theo. one. Jamison. First pitch coming, here it is. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Calling for it, Harris makes the play one away. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. We could really like use it not here. 0 for 3 in the game Billy so far. Hamilton. Hits are now even at four apiece. Hit the other way out toward right field. Jamison giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. Still tied one apiece. Stepping into the box, Theo the Jamison. Right he flew 15. out in his last at bat. Theo Jamison. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. And next it'll be the Tigers' cleanup number hitter, 45. number 45. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth.
Three balls, no strikes. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Digging in, number 14. 0 for 3 with number a couple 14. of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The pause and the 0 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So they load the bases on just one hit, but three men are left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. All tied at one and one. It was mostly pitching and defense in this one, but the man you see here made some noise with the bat, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need to come through when it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Detroit Tigers came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Curtis Vogel gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us. MLB The Show has Saturday night baseball for you now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. It's Tigers baseball, and it's coming up next. Scott Bryson, the left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, I was really impressed with him in his last outing. He pitched into the eighth inning but got a no decision. It was a really good performance, and if he keeps pitching like that... Now with the plate, Theo Jamison, as he'll get his first the opportunity in this one. Theo Jamison. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and it's a foul ball according to the up down the line hmm. awfully close that time and now let's hold on a second here it looks like the umpires are going to converge and there may be some question as to whether or not that was really a foul ball you can see him pointing down the right field line and I would not be a bit surprised if they decide to go inside to have a look at this and indeed they will do that. All right here comes our umpiring crew with their ruling and it is a home run. They overturn their initial ruling as they say this in fact trying to pick things up where he left off the right field, Theo Jameson 15. he went deep in his Theo. first at bat we'll see what Jameson. he's got in store for us here and that's been the entire offense so far in this one they've been shut down other than that from the stretch here's the pitch a bullet to first base and it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag they settle with just the one out. Now in the box, Grayson Grenier. Leading as we the begin the top of the fourth. The hey, we're still in the early stages in this Grayson. one. They're only down by a couple Run. of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The windup and the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Jamison coming on. He's there and records the first out. Standing in, Theo Jamison comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
But Swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be... And it's belted high and deep into right center. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you got to love the effort out there. Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Digging in the switch hitter, Yohan Moncada. It was a walk in his last trip. Yohan. No runs, five hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's in there, base hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Grayson Grenier. Two outs and two runners aboard Grayson. here in the seventh inning. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it. Jamison. And the inning is over. White Sox strand a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Jamison will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Here comes the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Four runs, nine hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a three-run shot to right center field, his second home run of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, with no outs, you can afford to give up a single, but you can't afford to give up a three-run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs, and the inning guys I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves let's see how long they can keep this up a 7 nothing shutout final score tonight the Detroit Tigers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Scott Bryson takes the win on the mound his second of the year so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com Afternoon baseball for your viewing pleasure on a fine Sunday afternoon from Comerica Park in Detroit. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Lance McCullers, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, Lance McCullers might have the best right-handed breaking ball in the game of baseball. Has the kind of hard slider that he could throw four or five times in a row and still get... Digging in, Theo Jamison. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Jamison. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Fellas, these White Sox, as they enter play today, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Oh, one pitch on its way. Shoots this one over to first. Come on, come on, deep. And he'll deep step up. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're still down. It's 2-0. Well, there is some weather in the Detroit area as we begin the second. And for more on that, here's Heidi. Well, Matt, there is precipitation in the forecast, but talking with some of the grounds crew here before the game, they said they don't think it will have a significant impact as we move forward. We can't expect a light sprinkle, but there shouldn't be any stuff. So striding in, Grayson Grenier. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. Reiner. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Jamison on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping in, Johnny Hatton. Okay, he looked to bounce side. back after striking out side. his last time up. Johnny Keeley on second. McCray on at first with two down. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. So that's his first home run in the big leagues, and it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Well, there's no doubt about that, Matt. People ask him 50 years from now who he hit it off of and what stadium he was playing in, and he'll remember it all. Heck, he'll probably remember what kind of pitch it was, too. Hopefully he can get the ball back so that can go in his trophy case forever. Right Jameson. He got 15. on top of one and was a ground Theo. out victim last time. Jameson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line towards center field. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. I suppose this is why you usually have the best defensive outfielder in center field. He got a good read on it charges in hard and made a fabulous grab. Look for that one to make the highlight reels later on. Striding in once again, Kurt English. He flew out in his last right at bat. Kurt English. The 2-2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Jamison. One out. Striding forward now is the DH, now, uh, Jose Ramirez. He comes in 0 for Jose 2 thus far. Ramirez. Now the 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Jamison is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. 1-2-3 go the White Sox. They lead it 6-1. Digging in once again, Jack McCray, runner in scoring position with Jack Sugan. McCray. Skied into straightaway right. Jamison on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. A man left for the White Sox. They lead it 6-2. to two. Now at the plate, Theo the right Jamison. Field, number 15, Theo Jamison. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So here's the cleanup the hitter, Ricky the Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Ricky Rodriguez. Throw over to first, runner back safely. Jamison leads off first with one away. High fly ball out to deep right field. English racing back, still ranging back. A two run blast to straight away right field is second of the game and they cut the gap here it's now six to four. Well they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason so we waited stayed back and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Ready now, Theo Jamison. He singled his last time up. The Even though field. we're moving into the back Theo. end of this game, they're only down Jamison. by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First offering on its way. Back up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Ready to take his hacks again, Ricky Rodriguez, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ricky Rodriguez becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. At the plate, Dilson Herrera. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this 30. point. The one two high in the air into shallow left center McCray moving forward he makes the running play two down on to first and they get the double play one hit in the inning but that gets erased we played eight full the White Sox lead it seven to five Johnny Hatton will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at bat in the fourth Johnny. inning and what a big one it was Hatton. a three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. hit the other way out toward right field two, moving two, under two. it Jamison one out well baseball is a game of streaks and runs so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams the key is they didn't panic or press they just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do well done. This one comes to a close with a 9 5 final. Chicago jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Soroka earns win number four on the season. Lance McCullers struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Taylor Rogers works two full innings in relief to record the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field.
from the home of the Tigers since 2000. We welcome you to Comerica Park here in the Motor City. Tonight, it's the first of four between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. Tigers baseball is next. Victor Alcantara, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one. And if they can... Standing in, Theo Jamison. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Theo Jamison. First pitch of the at-bat. Runners on the move for second. And this is hit hard to the right side. Braun, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. He pulls this one into right. Batista is there. Two down. A moment now in Motown to check out the Tigers' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He was an absolute RBI machine a year ago. I mean, it was like he never missed an opportunity to put a run on the board when it came to him. Count on him to have an impact in this one. Leading off the inning, Theo Jameson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Theo Jameson. First delivery to him on the way. This is pulled into right. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Tigers. That a boy. Way to get on base. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Digging in, Ricky Rodriguez comes into this at bat 0 the for 1 baseman. in the ball game. Ricky Rodriguez. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Muriel is under it, one down. Digging in for his second at bat, Dilson bat. Herrera. He's Number 0 for 30. 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. Hard ground ball to third. Come on. Fielded cleanly. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back for more from Detroit after this. Digging in to try it again. Number 90. 0 for 1 for Number him here 90. in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. In there, a base hit. He's through first and hustling relay, for relay, second. Relay. Yeah, yeah. Right. And he All is right. in at second base with a one-out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Digging in and looking for more. The Theo right Jameson. He singled his last time Theo. up. Yeah, guys, still the Jameson. only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Batista ranging back. Still yeah. going back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Tigers have made this a 1-1 ball game. Well, you really can't blame the man on the mound. He single-handedly kept them in this thing. But with one swing of the bat, we're all knotted up. Things are officially interesting. And now batting, number 12, runner in scoring position with two gone. 
Frazier stands at second with two gone. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jamison is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees are out in front, three to one. Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they hit. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. Takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys in the home dugout and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. Tonight's ball game comes to a close, three to one, the final. New York came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Luis Sessa earns his third win of the year in relief. Kareem Lehman records the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.